Hello and welcome to this video on building blocks in Google Docs. This is part of a wider series on the app menu features in Google Docs, so make sure you check them out too. To insert building blocks, we can click on the more icon, we can put the at key in the text, or we can click on insert and go to building blocks. You can see a range of building blocks I've got available here. Some of these, and particularly the custom building block, is only available in paid features of Google Workspace. So let's dive in and have a look at what these can do. So first, we're going to look at meeting notes. So this is where you can choose something in your diary. And it's going to put in the attendees and notes and the actions. Again, this is just my leave coming up, so it's not that interesting. So this is a great way of collaborating on something and working on a draft before you actually share it with the other attendees on the calendar event. Once you are ready, you can click here to email the notes or attach it to the calendar event. Next, we're going to have a look at email. So again, this works very similarly. You can create this as a draft, collaborate on it with others, adding in people. So I can click on here and add somebody in. I can write the subject here and I can write the email here. Once I'm ready, I can click on the preview in Gmail button and it's convert this into my Gmail and then if I'm happy with it I can then just click send and don't forget when you're working on these drafts you can just share it with other people like you would a normal Google Doc next we're going to look at the calendar event draft it does a very similar thing adding in all the details you might want to do in a calendar event then once you're ready, you click on this and it will then populate it into your calendar, ready for you to save and share with any guests. Next, we're going to look at one called Code Block. Now, I've got some code. Now, I'm not a coder, so I got this example of Bard. But if I select this, go into Insert Building Blocks, Code Block, I can choose which type of code it is. So this is Python. And what it does, it will then format it all for me with the right colors, etc. And this is a great way of highlighting code in your doc. Next, we've got a few different examples, very similar things, but if you've got product roadmaps, and this is just a mixture of a table with some drop downs and files. We see the review tracker. So, again, very similar project assets. And then lastly, We've got the launch content tracker. So again, three very similar things utilizing the different smart features in Google Docs, just building a template. But what we also have is a building block to custom building block. If I do this, what I need to do is create my own block. So I've done one here. I've got a lesson template. And then if I go into insert building blocks, custom building block, it's going to, I've got the option here to create a new building block. It's then going to ask me to select what I want to select. Click Save. And then I can give it a new name. And if I want to, I can give it a description. Click Create. There we go. And then on a new doc, I can then insert building blocks, custom building block, and it's got my lesson plan there as an option. So I hope these building blocks will help you work more effectively in Google Docs, saving times by creating these templates or using pre-existing ones. 